Think about the greatest collaborations throughout history, the moments when genius collided to move humanity forward. John Lennon and Paul McCartney, Marie and Pierre Curie, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, all of them required the right minds to be in the same room at the same time. Every day, thousands of flights crisscross the world just to bring us together in the same physical space. How many millions of dollars do organizations spend each year so that employees and company leaders can meet in person? How much potential is lost each year because meeting in person wasn't possible? Why is it that magic only happens when we're in the same room? In-person experiences have two key ingredients that are missing from the tools in use around the world today. Seeing and appreciating the entire human being and seamless, synchronous communication. Now, imagine if technology allowed us to provide both. If students and scientists and creative people everywhere could be in the same room together without needing to travel. Imagine the possibilities and the progress that become possible. Think of the scholars in Vienna that could debate with PhDs in Boston, the guitarists in Madrid that could jam with singers in Lagos, or the designers in Santiago that could brainstorm with entrepreneurs in Beijing. That future is within reach. For the past five years, we have connected communities around the world in immersive spaces called portals. We use full body, life-sized, floor-to-ceiling video with embedded camera technology that preserves eye contact. And we design these spaces to feel continuous. Participants tell us that when they meet someone through the portal, the technology disappears and all that is left is the humanity. To see the full human being, we need to see the full human body. The shift in posture that signifies a new idea bubbling up. The slight tensing of the knuckles when something touches a nerve. The contagiousness of energy and movement. Through portals, we have hosted thousands of hours of connection and collaboration in over 30 countries. By creating a lifelike form of interaction and connecting diverse communities, we've tapped into something powerful and arrived one step closer to true seamless in-person interactions across distance. But there's one limitation holding us back, truly synchronous communication. The type that allows three people in different parts of the world to have an excited and energetic conversation, speaking over one another building on each other's ideas, compounding the energy in the room without compromising understanding or needing to repeat themselves. We are on the cusp of a momentous step forward in the history of human progress.